Oh, I'm wearing some gloves because we're about to venture into your Eumaverse basement, which hasn't been touched for mm, probably eight or nine years. For whatever reason, this room was just discarded when uh, we moved in, and uh, our previous owners left some stuff for us. So, for starters, we have these uh, opened bottles of booze, which uh, I'm not certain how all that's going to show up on camera, but it's basically turned into a very thick, dark, particulate slurry. You probably can't see that. Looks pretty bad to the naked eye, though. That's not what you should drink. Oh, that's 60% alcohol. At least the original contents were. Well, there you go. I'm not certain what uh, this, this stuff actually is. I'm assuming it's some kind of uh, booze, but... Uh, yeah, that, 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 I'm pretty certain that's never been vodka. Definitely repurposed bottles. Perhaps some kind of fruit juice. And uh, over here we've got uh, uh, salt coming out of the uh, wall. This is not a uh, mold or anything, it's just salt because the uh, shower is on the other side of that wall and uh, it's been untouched for quite some time. Very fluffy, crystalline stuff. But yeah, that's just salt and totally harmless. There's no actual mold in this house, believe it or not. Except for uh, these old potatoes. Uh, these <laughs> are bags which were full of potatoes, uh, which uh, were, uh, I remember five or six years ago when we moved in, uh, these bags were just kind of um, overgrown, you know, when you leave potatoes for too long and they start living a life of their own. And uh, I just kind of went nope, and uh, I forgot about them. But the time has come to put this room back into service because my workshop's a mess, and that means getting rid of this stuff. <laughs> Wow, that's dark. So, uh, from the looks of it, uh, there has been mold on this stuff, but uh, I think it's just been left to, to rot for so long that uh, the mold has actually died because this is just kind of turned into very dry earth. <laughs> it's quite surprising that the potatoes actually managed to grow like this. I mean, this has to be potato root. Because now I know that it was potatoes in this bag and we have even have some remnants of a food pot atos there, so we are talking potatoes. Oh, is that actually? This is actually somewhat moist. So there might actually be some living mold still in here, but certainly not a lot. We just uh, don't get the right conditions for mould growth uh, in the basement of this house because it's just too cold. It's about uh, 10 degrees in here year round. So mould just wants uh, warmer, more humid places to grow. Oh, I think this might have been a, a singular potato. Or perhaps even some kind of 
onion looking thing, judging from via. Yeah, this must have been an onion. Just judging from the shape of this shell. Mm. So perhaps this is actually a mixed brew of various root fruits and vegetables. That's actually a bit moist down here. I'm surprised. <laughs> it's very easy to just kind of forget that you have something like this growing in your house. Because, yeah, you know, big enough house. Didn't need all the rooms in the basement usually. There's nothing moving around here at least. All these leaves. No, that's just more remnants of a bag. Yeah, there's not really much of a point to this video, by the way. Just to <laughs> wanted to share this uh, historic moment of someone actually daring to enter this room and excavate it. Yeah, this is definitely moist. I'm very surprised by that. It's midwinter as of filming this, and uh, that usually means that the air is very dry and very cold. That's actually not too bad stuff to deal with, actually. I'm, uh... Hey, we've got a heart shape there. Lovely. I'm actually more... concerned about dealing with that uh, rotten... You know, God knows what. Uh, the fun thing about this house is actually... Uh, the basement is actually tatted with these... Uh, rails uh, just uh, molded to the ceiling and uh, I knew that uh, at least one of these was used for uh, hanging uh, pigs after slaughter. One of the room beside this one was used for that because there's you can spot this nice round puddle of uh, very old uh, dried up blood on the floor but this one seems to have been used for something else not entirely certain on what. Perhaps they just uh, made arrangements in case they got more pigs. Because these uh, edge rooms of the basement, they're, they're basically called cellars. We've got a double insulated door. One door there and then that one opens out. For so this room actually gets quite cold. It can have negative degrees in here in the midst of winter. And it's usually about 5 degrees in the summer even. So. Quite usable refrigerator, as long as you don't have it full of potatoes. Anyway, that's enough rambling. Cheerio!